Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to Arabic's Adventure. My name is Cynthia and today we're gonna do the check-in for week one of the No Spend Weekly Challenge for January, which was Pantry, Freezer, Fridge, Clean Out. That's right, we're gonna go through eight. Eight! That's not how you do eight. Eight, eight, eight full days of meals. So if you're ready, press the like button and let's get to work. January 1st, I meal prepped a ton of freezer meals for lasagna and spaghetti sauce. We had lasagna on January 1st, New Year's Day with salad. All the ingredients came from my pantry or from that small Aldi haul I did before the no spend challenge began. To start off this pantry challenge, I did a freezer inventory. I found enough stuff in the freezer and fridge to make these delicious pumpkin cream cheese and apple muffins with loads of molasses. I used the last of this jar of molasses hanging out in the pantry and I made myself a mango smoothie to go with the muffins. I used some baked goods that we received from our neighbors to take to my recovery meeting and I made a delicious turkey noodle soup. I had a few noodles hanging out at the bottom of my storage container and some turkey broth that I canned in 2018. Part of this challenge is to use up canned meats from 2018 and get them all out of my pantry. This is a final shot of how it looked. I brought some leftovers in a mason jar the next day for lunch and Mr. Biggs had some roll-up turkey for his lunch since gluten-free bread doesn't travel all that well. There's day two, all done. We've been doing our best to use our frozen berries in the fridge by having some berry smoothies in the morning. Mr. Biggs loves beans and rice. I used some hamburger that I canned in 2019 and this Zatarain's rice mix that expires in October of 2022. I had some shrimp from the freezer and some fresh Brussels sprouts. Day three of the January pantry challenge is done. On Tuesday, January 4th, we had sweet potatoes and some sausages from the freezer. Sweet potatoes I got on sale for 27 cents a pound at Thanksgiving, so they really need to get out of the pantry. I was able to also use this mustard up and get that out of the fridge. Day four of the January pantry challenge, done. Time for a couple more berry smoothies with some shelf stable almond milk. It's Wednesday night and we are having salad. Mr. Biggs is gonna cut up this turkey to have on his salad. This is supper and lunch and he's gonna sprinkle some cheese on there. And I'm gonna have this can of tuna with my salad. Breakfast, breakfast, <laughs> lunch and dinner. And there you go. So Mr. Biggs is using up that turkey that we had in the freezer and this cheese that was in the freezer. And I've got this can of tuna. Completed day five using most of the fresh veggies from the fridge. Day six, Thursday. I have this sweet baby rays that was in my pantry that expired in September of 2020. Some gluten-free mac and cheese and some pork that I canned in January of 2020. We made collard green and pulled pork macaroni and cheese bowls. Our garden is still producing collard greens and these were so fresh and really delicious. I didn't think this was pumpkin. It's not pumpkin, it's refried beans. Definitely going to have those quesadillas. We can use the refried beans, the cheese, and the wraps. The garden also gave us two beautiful little tomatoes this week. So we used the tomatoes in our quesadillas. We had three gluten-free wraps, some salsa from our garden back in May, sour cream, hot sauce. Mr. Biggs was in charge of dinner and we used the rest of that cheese that he didn't put on his salad. Fried up in a cast iron skillet, these made a perfect Friday night dinner. It was quick, easy, we popped a movie on and ate in the living room. Day seven, January pantry challenge is done. Saturday night was day eight. We used up the last little tomato, had some burgers that I found during my freezer clean out. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. There were four potatoes left in the fridge, so I used two of them to make some air fried potatoes. Day eight is 
done. Thank you so much for watching. There's a playlist linked in the description box down below with a huge playlist of all the other YouTubers who are participating in this collab with me. I am so excited to have some really cool YouTubers in with me. Uh, my house to yours, mama friendly, grandma B's busy life, and from what's up family home, and so many more. Thank you again for watching. And remember everybody, life is an adventure. So enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.